What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video, we're talking about whether you should update the iOS 14 when it comes out, because of course the Apple event is just around the corner. So we're going to talk about it, whether you should update to it if you want a jailbreak and whether the iOS 13.6 and 13.7 are better bets for your jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a program created to repair system issues, to fix iTunes errors, and of course to reset your device, upgrade, downgrade, and enter an exit recovery mode. Definitely check it out if you have iOS issues, it's definitely cool. So as you probably know, the Apple event will come on September 15. So that's just two days from now. And of course, at the Apple event, we're going to see the iOS 14. But you've probably known iOS 14 for a while now. It's been out in beta for a couple of months. And of course, it looks pretty cool. You probably know it has a new user interface for the home screen, you can pin the styles and stuff like that. So it does have a lot of features that people would definitely love. However, what if you wanted gel break it. Right now the latest version available is 13.7 and of course 13.6.1 and 13.6 were just unsigned a couple of weeks ago. Now the latest jailbreaks we have, for example the Uncover and the Odyssey, do support iOS 13.5 and that's basically it. So there is currently no support for 13.5.1, 13.6 and 13.6.1 and let alone for 13.7. However iOS 14 is exactly the worst iOS version to be on for the moment because of course there is no kernel exploit and there is also nothing in the horizon except for the bug from the ABC research they posted this in here a couple of uh, weeks ago in which they basically managed to jailbreak iOS 14 with an exploit they have however the exploit they have seems to be zero day and therefore we know nothing about this we know nothing about whether they will release it or not but we do know that the ABC research has been credited in the past by Apple in their security content. So while we do believe that the ABC Research is a legitimate security oriented company and they might have a bug for the iOS 14, we don't know for sure whether they're going to release it or not. So updating the iOS 14 just for that bug and just for the possibility of that bug being released in the future, it's actually quite a no-no because we know for sure that there will be a bug released for 13.6.1 by this developer in here who posted a couple of weeks ago, quote, iOS 13.6.1 on iPhone 11 Pro Max using custom built kernel read and write primitives completely got rid of TFP0 method. I'll make it public when it's appropriate. Hashtag jailbreak. And they basically showing here an iPhone being jailbroken with their bug and starting SSH. Now that's actually good because we know for sure that this A12 compatible and A13 compatible bug will be released for 13.6.1. That's basically just one version behind the 13.7, which is currently the latest one. So if you're running 13.6.1 or 13.6 or 13.5.1 that would cover you very well so definitely do not update if you're running 13.7 it's a little bit too late it's not possible to downgrade from 13.7 to 13.6.1 at the moment and it's not possible to downgrade from iOS 14 to 13.6.1 at the moment. However, it is possible to downgrade from iOS 14 back to 13.7 at the moment. So I would definitely do that if I was you. There are more chances a new bug like this one in here for 13.7 will be released in the near future rather than for iOS 14, which is brand new and may have bugs as detailed in here by ABC Research, but they may not be released in the near future because as they market in here, it's zero day and therefore Apple doesn't know about the bug. Now, how it goes usually when we get bugs for the Uncover or for Odyssey and stuff like that is that basically Apple gets announced about the bug, they fix it in a new update, for example 13.7, and then of course 90 days after that the uh, developer can actually release the bug with no problem. That's how responsible disclosure goes. So releasing a bug right now for 13.7, which is currently signed, would basically be releasing zero day. And if you release zero day, you do not qualify for responsible disclosure which of course many security researchers tend to want. So that's the reason we're going to get this bug when it's appropriate and not right now. Now that the iOS 13.6.1 is patched and 13.7 is the latest one available, unless that bug supports 13.7 as well and it hasn't been fixed, we can expect that bug to be released. And of course, if it gets released, we can update the Uncover and the Odyssey and of course other such jailbreaks. Now for the check rain people, iOS 14 may not be that bad, though there have been some problems at the beginning of the iOS 14 beta with the check rain. Basically, the check rain team announced they have some issues getting it to work on iOS 14 beta. Those problems are likely easily fixable with the check rain because, of course, they have a boot from exploit. However, we do not have that luxury for the uncover 
or for Odyssey. So right now my recommendation is like this, do not update the iOS 14 just yet. There are no bugs currently publicly available and while there have been some demos, we may not see those bugs anytime soon. You are safer if you want to jailbreak on 13.6.1, 13.6 and of course 13.5.1. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.